There's also a sobering assessment of the weather tonight from NOAA, an agency that studies climate. It's out with, out with the first comprehensive government report linking extreme weather to man-made climate change. NBC's chief environmental correspondent, Ann Thompson, reports. This is America's forecast. More torrential rains, more sweltering heat waves, and fewer cold snaps. That's the future. This is now. The bottom line of, of this report is that observed changes in weather and climate extremes are occurring today. Uh, we expect them to continue to occur in the future. Six of the last ten years had average temperatures that rank in the top ten percent of the hottest on record. The southwest, parched from a decade-long drought, the worst this country's seen in half a century, will get no relief because of even less rain in the winter. Where there are rain and snowstorms, they will be more intense. If greenhouse gases increase at the middle range of projections, heavy precipitation that now happens every 20 years could happen every eight by the end of the century over much of eastern North America. The forests in the western U.S. and Canada are already under attack from forest beetles, thriving because of warmer summers and the lack of very cold winters. The result? Trees destroyed over an area 50 times larger than affected by forest fires, with five times the economic impact. Extreme weather causes all kinds of extreme expenditures. And we will have less time to recover and adapt to a changing climate because these severe events will happen more frequently. Climate change is not about the distant future. It's not about poor countries. It's about the whole world now and in the future. Yes, these are projections, but the government team of 35 scientists, after having gone through thousands of studies, says it is very likely to happen. Projections the team makes with 90% certainty. Anne? Anne Thompson tonight. Anne, thank you.